Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Magnetic reversal news and Shinrin Yoku with an Etna update. And clearly, you can see there has been another paroxysm as we predicted in today's update. Etna volcano update powerful lava fountains rise 1,000 meters. At Europe's most active volcano, we have video footage, so stay tuned. Last night's eruptive episode of tall lava fountains known as a paroxysm turned out to be one of the most impressive and powerful in recent years. Not only did it produce higher fire fountains than usual, but it lasted longer than most other paroxysms. Around 10.30 p.m. local time, volcanic tremor and strombolian activity from the new southeast crater began to increase drastically. Half an hour later, a first lava flow started to descend the eastern summit vent of the crater, and activity continued to increase, soon forming fountains of a few hundred meters tall. However, instead of peaking and decreasing, very soon activity continued to increase and first reached its climax at three around just after midnight this morning, with fire fountains reaching incredible heights of 800 to 1,000 meters. Thanks to the near absence of wind, a tall eruption column of over 10 kilometers height formed with a circular umbrella cloud and the boundary between the troposphere and the stratosphere. The eruption ended at 2 a.m., having produced sustained lava fountains for three hours, hours of powers, and that's pushing up on the stratosphere there. Here you can see that large paroxysm with a little burp at the end, and we could be waiting for a fifth one, even larger, happening soon. At Etna, we do have some footage, so we'll show you that from two different sources. Most of this is copyright, but we were able to find some spectacular images that were available for us to play for you that we won't hopefully get a copyright strike for. Some of that amazing fountaining you can see there I'll leave you links to these videos to watch for yourself. There are many, many videos uh, on last night's paroxysm. And this is one that's fantastic. So let's take a look at this. Now there are tens of thousands of people within close proximity to this. And people know it's increasing now. So there's, I can only imagine what it must be like to be so close to something so amazingly destructive, potentially. There's that 3,000 foot, 1,000 meter lava fountain shooting straight up into the air. Absolutely amazing. So, ongoing event. Thought I'd give you an update on the fantastic paroxysm. Fourth one in as many days at Etna Volcano. Be safe, folks. That's a bone to Etna. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge. Share this video. Subscribe if you haven't. We love you. And that's a bone.